Good day, everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you okay, how to uh, set up the uh, Ruang okay, uh, SIM Builder to work with uh, NetBean okay, 8.2. So here is the website that uh, you can uh, download the uh, and install the uh, uh, NetBean 8.2 bundle, okay? This is a website. And then again, once you got there, remember to click the uh, uh, accept a uh, license agreement. Okay, then uh, you will come to here. Then you can select the uh, uh, correct uh, uh, executable file okay, to work with okay, your operating system. And you have to get okay, a uh, left click, okay? Left click and then from the pop-up you pick save link as, okay? And uh, again, I have one downloaded already okay, and installed already. Okay, so that's why it shows okay, uh, this uh, uh, copy version one, okay. But then again, uh, remember to uh, click save, and then uh, you might see the low left hand side show that uh, do you want to discard the file or not? Okay, and then you have to uh, pick the uh, uh, click the uh, uh, the option of uh, keep it, okay, because this is executable file. Uh, the download and installation will take a while, okay, so I'm not going to uh, show that to you, okay, to save you time. All right, and then you can go to the uh, uh, Gluang uh, website, Sim Builder website, and then again, this is the URL. Okay, this is the URL, and then get, uh, you need to get uh, scroll it down. Okay, uh, don't click the download right right now. Okay, because uh, there are two options. Okay, one will work with the uh, uh, newer version of uh, uh, Java. Uh, uh, JDK 11, but then again, the bin, okay, the one I put it over here. No, it, it might work with okay, only this uh, a little bit older version, okay? So to be safe, okay, scroll it down okay, until you see this okay, download SIM builder for Java uh, 8, okay? Yeah, Java 8. And once you got there, okay, and then again, okay, pick the uh, uh, the version work with your operating system, okay? So again, I have those files get okay, download and uh, unzip already. Okay, I have the file download and unzip already, and then I put it over the uh, my G drive. Okay, the same builder I put it over my G drive and then download folder. So now I'm going to show you okay how to get out, uh, uh, connect uh, or how to set up uh, the uh, same builder to work with uh, NetBeans get okay, 8.2. So I have my NetBeans. Uh, 8.2 here, let me fire up the application, okay? And it's loading, okay, give me a minute, let me bring it okay, to the screen, there, there you go. So here's the uh, start page, I don't need this one as of now, so let me close it. And then get to uh, set up the uh, uh, same builder to work with Snapping 8.2, okay, then you can go to uh, to okay, and then click options, okay, and then get okay, click uh, Java, okay, click Java, okay, and then uh, among the new tabs over here, okay, pick Java FX, and then over here, okay, it, it shows that, okay, please get okay, select a valid uh, same builder home, okay, then you can click this one and click browse, okay, click browse, okay, and then go to PC, okay. And then go to the location, okay, uh, where you unzip the uh, Gurang okay, SIM Builder file. I put it over uh, download, okay, I believe. Yeah, there you go. And then this is the folder, okay. And then just click open, okay. And then, uh, then that's it, okay. Then you can click uh, OK, okay, to uh, uh, set it up. And then assume that I'm going to create okay, a simple file, okay. So I'm going to pick JavaFX, okay, and then Pick the uh, Java FX FXML okay, application, click next, okay. And then you just pick any name, okay. I have to keep it simple, okay. I might just call it, okay, uh, same builder, okay. C N E builder, okay. Demo, okay. Demo, yeah, demo, yeah, that will be fine. And then click uh, finish. And then uh, you will create all those okay, uh, boilerplate code for us, okay? And then for me, okay, I will just run it quickly, get okay, to make sure everything works fine. 
So, so far so good. Okay, so far so good, all right? Okay, pretty good, okay, yeah. And then now, okay, I'm going to add okay, the uh, uh, cascading star sheet, okay, yeah. So, okay, uh, over here, okay, then again, okay, I can just select okay, this okay, uh, package name, right-click the mouse button, pick new, and then pick other, okay, pick other, scroll it down until you see the other folder again and pick the style sheet, okay, and click next. I will just name the file as styles, okay, keep it simple, okay, keep it simple and click finish. There we go, okay, so the uh, uh, style sheet okay, is created, but then uh, again, get okay, uh, to do a quick task, okay, I will just get okay, uh, set up, okay, uh, the, uh, uh, maybe the uh, text color okay, on the button to red. Okay, so I'm going to do uh, the class name, get okay, all the, yeah, class name button. Okay, so button, okay, yeah. And then the rule, get okay, will be simple, nothing fancy at all, just for the te purpose of testing, okay. Uh, dash FX, okay, and then is text field, okay. The property name is text field and set the color to red, okay? Keep it simple again for testing purpose. Okay, then now, okay, I can select the uh, uh, the uh, FX document .xml file and right-click the mouse button and pick open. And since okay, it has uh, set up to work with the sim builder already, okay, so you can see that uh, the sim builder showed up, okay? Sim builder showed up. But then I might have to uh, instruct the uh, the uh, uh, root okay, container okay, to use the uh, the uh, star sheet, right? Okay, star sheet here. Okay, so let me give me a minute. So let me select the root container first, and then okay, on the uh, you can see on the uh, row right hand side here, right? Then there is an option to pick the uh, star sheet. Okay, so click the plus button. Okay. Uh, so let me click the plus button and then there we go. Okay, so uh, the star sheet okay, uh, showed up right away. Okay, again, the uh, location where you store the star sheet is very important. Okay, so make sure you put it uh, right next to your uh, Java source code and then click open. There we go. So immediately the uh, the uh, style sheet okay, uh, setting uh, applied on the button here, and you can even do a preview okay, if you want to. Okay, print it, okay, print it, yeah. Then let me normalize this one, switch back to my application. And then okay, uh, again, you can look into your Java uh, uh, source code okay, if you want to. Okay, there is a, uh, sorry, okay, it should be uh, this one, yeah. There is a, a, a button okay, uh, being uh, uh, added, okay, button, okay, this is the handler, okay, this is the handler, and then this will be the, uh, the, the controller, yeah, controller, and then there's a button, okay, being added, okay, being added, then now if I run it, okay, if I run it, okay, then you can see that the uh, button okay, is there, oh, sorry. I think that I need to okay, uh, do a little bit uh, check-in here, okay? So let me make sure I save the file, okay, save it, okay? And then run it. Okay. There you go, okay, so remember that uh, once you apply the uh, star sheet, you write the star sheet, uh, onto the uh, uh, the uh, same builder, remember to save it. So a moment ago, I forgot to save it. Okay, so that's why uh, when I try to display the button, okay, run the program, the uh, button's text uh, uh, did not turn it to red, okay? So I think that uh, that will be all, okay, that will be all, of course. I mean, you can okay, uh, uh, also okay, add the, uh, set the uh, text, a color on the uh, uh, label, okay, on the label to red, okay, if you want to, okay. Yeah, so let me add one more, save it, and then run it, and then run it. And click, let me click the button. 
There you go. Okay, so the text color on the label turned to red as well. So that will be all. I hope that, that this is get useful to you. Okay, yeah, let me stop the recording.